So hi everyone, welcome back to Data Science in a Pocket and today we are discussing Context Engineering versus System Prompting. What's the difference between the two? So recently Context Engineering is trending on the internet as Andres Karpati has again given us a new term after Vibe Coding and does make sense also what he talked about context engineering where we are trying to provide the necessary information beforehand to the LLM before asking it any prompt while you might be thinking that okay that's fine but it's the same thing as system prompting no you provide a system prompt beforehand so that the LLM is able to respond to any prompt in a given tone so what's the difference between the two we'll be talking about that a system prompt a system prompt is a header okay usually it is a single or multiple lines telling you about the role most of the time right like you are a helpful assistant you might be remembering this from some uh, basic models you respond concisely and respectfully you never lie hallucinate or feel pain system prompting is just one move inside the larger game of context engineering Hence, system prompting is a subset of context engineering. First, understand that. So, context engineering is the bigger umbrella under which system prompting exists. Beyond prompting, context engineering. So, system prompting is the first line, the one sentence at the top of your prompt, telling it about its role most of the time. While in case of context engineering, it is everything. It is the entire script, the set, the lighting, the whole performance, what to know, what not to know. Every information goes under context engineering. System prompting, the whisper. Whispering means that the first line that you're mentioning, the first whisper in models here, static, baked into the front of context window. Identity, here's who you are. So it tells the identity of the model, that you are a chef, you are a doc, etc. Boundaries, here's what you never do and limited, no situational awareness, right? So you give it very static prompts, more of very objective things, some rules that the LLM must remember. There are no situational awareness you're trying to provide within system prompting. While in case of context engineering, it is more dynamic. It manages the user history also. Tools information also, control decide what matters now and other things. So it's a wholesome game. It, it's not just a one liner or some rules. It, it's a lot of more things than that. Purpose define versus deliver. So system prompt defines your role, sets the tone or establishes boundaries. Okay, okay, this can't be done. While in case of context engineering, it deliver performance, handle varying output. Okay, if the uh, user is not in this mode, then you should do this. And the user is like this since five years. So you should so um, manage yourself accordingly. Adapt to changing task, right? So once you provide the context about a user, then eventually all the system, all the prompting that the user is doing, a context engineering would be following it. While system prompting is more of a rule side of the things. So system prompting as mentioned is a subset of context engineering, but do remember that it's more rule based. System prompting setting defaults, setting the behavior, tone and style, personality boundaries, never say X, avoid Y, control voice and policies, set formal, playful or medical tone. It sets the foundation, the voice, but not the brain, how to think. It is not telling the model that. Do remember this. While in case of context engineering, the use cases are long running chat agents. Build agents with memory. So you are also asking, you are updating a context although on the fly at times. Complex multi-step task. Dynamic behavior. Ch changes based on user intent or info. And tools and API integration as well. Context engineering gives you the full control. Relationship, tools versus ecosystem. Context engineering decides what the model sees. It decides what, what gets pruned. 
it decides when the system prompt matters right so it is the one making the system prompt also important uh, without context engine system prompt make completely fail out context engine decides when it gets ignored also so it's just one of the tools within context engineering poor implementation for example if you are not good at system prompting the tone shifts midway model disobeys instructions two generic answers two strict answers looking like brittle robotic while in case of a bad context engineering irrelevant history confuses the model right you are not making your context uh, in a well defined tone so some necessary info unnecessary information coming into the context will confuse a model instructions get buried behind noisy docs so if you are providing too much of a context some of the instructions will get bloated off token limitation exists hence model forgets hallucination and erratic answers context engineering empowering prompts how context engineering helps system prompting to understand this it prioritizes system prompting right keeps the system prompt early visible and unpolluted aligns examples with system instructions enables dynamic tone on task switching manager retrieval memory and user history it protects the system prompting from noise the, if you try to understand the core so that the instruction that you're providing in system one doesn't get overridden when you're mentioning 20 instructions it's the role of con uh, context engineering to make sure that system prompting doesn't get buried off under other instructions also key differences here is a quick look as you can see we have already talked about most of the points so just take a pause read through the slide while the time i will move ahead the final thoughts seed and ecosystem system prompting is the seed while context engineering is the ecosystem you need both but one is just a sentence more of rule based thing the other one is a craft right context engineering makes the seed grow or lets it rot so the success of system prompting depends completely on the context engineering how you are doing it i hope you understood the difference we have already covered a few more tutorials on context engineering in this playlist. You can check that out as well. Thank you so much.